This is a CBS News special report. I'm Nora O'Donnell here in the nation's capital, and we are coming on the air tonight to hear from new witnesses, to hear new testimony and new evidence tonight as we learn more about the three hours here in our nation's capital on January 6th that nearly derailed democracy. The key question is about former President Donald Trump. What was the commander-in-chief doing during the hours of violence at the Capitol? We do know that he was sitting at, in his dining room watching television but deciding not to act. We also know that from the Capitol to the White House and even from people in his own family, he was being begged to do something, anything, to stop the violence. Well, the committee says it will lay out what they call Trump's dereliction of duty. The witnesses tonight will help fill in the gaps in Trump's activities that day. We will hear from former Deputy National Security Advisor Matthew Pottinger and former Deputy Press Secretary Sarah Matthews. They will testify live. We're also expected to hear some other new testimony from taped depositions. Uh, we've got our incredible team with us here tonight with new reporting and analysis. John Dickerson, this is really going to focus, when we've had um, seven hearings, this committee has interviewed more than a thousand people, but today it's about Donald Trump specifically and a timeline. During the 2016 campaign, candidate Donald Trump said, I alone can fix it about the presidency. Never more was that more true in his presidency than on January 6th. He alone Maybe can we'll fix be it order. because he's commander in chief and because he had a special relationship with the people flying his flag. That's why all of his friends, allies in Congress, allies in the media were calling him because he was the only one who could fix it. For 187 minutes, the phone was ringing and he refused to pick it up. We are watching now Liz Cheney, the vice chair, throw to a piece of tape from the chair of this committee, Benny Thompson, who's not there live today because he has COVID and is explaining that uh, right now. Uh, Robert Costa, as we mentioned, we've learned a lot in these hearings thus far, um, but there's still a lot that's missing out there that hasn't been turned over to this committee. There are still gaps in this story, missing texts from the Secret Service, and we just learned today some Secret Service agents are seeking private counsel as the DHS looks into that part of the story. We're also missing phone logs. Who was the president talking to during this time? Testimony today will help fill in those gaps. Let's turn now to Chairman Benny Thompson. He bullied, he betrayed his oath, he tried to destroy our democratic institutions, he summoned a mob to Washington. After war on January 6th, 